Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Star Citizen Addicts Anonymous. I'm Nikki Batgirl D'Angelo, your host. Before we go on and get out of this habitat, I want to thank all of my supporters on Patreon.com, P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com forward slash Batgirl. Thank you. Without you, this video or others wouldn't be possible. All right, folks, today we're going to go downstairs, take a look at some ships, and we're going to partake shortly thereafter in one of the newest, latest, and greatest professions in the game. What profession, you ask? Well, you will find out. You will. Anyway, today I want to give you a little bit of a heads up. If you have purchased a Polaris in the past, you now have a hammerhead in your hangar in the PTU. Now that is going to go live in 3.3. The player universe also a persistent universe and it is because whenever you buy a ship that's not in the game you get an equal ship if it's in game as a loner and the hammerhead is now the loner for people that own the polaris with that said don't lose it i lost my hammerhead literally lost it took it landed on a planet took out a tumbrel um cyclone went somewhere and logged out and then couldn't find my way back to my ship. It's gone. I cannot claim it because insurance is not working for it. So because of that, we have to take out another ship today. And I was like, all right, what am I going to take out? Okay, I've already taken out my Gladiator. I had some fun with it. Oh, I've done my Mustang. Oh, what could I... Oh, this Terrapin. What the hell is a Terrapin good for? Ship has been delivered to the following landing well, I'm going to tell you this. The Terrapin is the best ship for the newest, latest, greatest, and best profession in the game. Now, this profession is so good, you are going to jump for joy when you hear about it because it's incredible. Not only are you going to jump for joy, you're going to try not to tell your friends about it because you could make millions at it. Literally millions. And it is not hazardous. Well, maybe a little hazardous. It is not dangerous. Well, it could be dangerous. It is not odor free. I'll tell you that much, but it is a great profession. Now, what is the Terrapin good for? It's a scout. It's good for seeking out things, right? It's good for sniffing out those hard to find anomalies, resources, or ships that are hiding from you. It's the perfect addition to a flight or a squadron or a wing of Polaris's. Fly out in front, find your prey, tell the people on the Polaris's and unleash those torpedoes and kill them. But we can't do that here. We can't find rocks to mine with this yet, or can we? I don't know. We can't find jump holes. No, we can't find well, we, there's a lot of things we can't do with it. So the ship really doesn't have any kind of a purpose in the PTU or the PU right now. At least not until exploration is fully fleshed out. Which is going to be coming next year, almost certainly. Until then, if you bought the ship, you have it. Oh my lord, someone's firing at me. But I can tell you this. I always feel safe in this ship thing is armored like crazy and I always feel like okay I could go out and I could take a couple of hits at least you're supposed to be able to but today we're gonna skip ahead we're gonna jump into that profession I was talking about and what is that prof profession it's a profession that's been in every MMO well it's been a quest in every MMO it's a profession that only the richest in New York City could partake in and it has great benefits it's sanitation worker Yes, I'm turning my Terrapin into a garbage scow. Yeah, I guess that was a dead giveaway when you read the title. Duh. But still, poop quests have been in every single MMO that I've played. I can't say they've been in every single MMO, but they're in every MMO I've played. World of Warcraft, they were in EverQuest, they were in Dark Age of Camelot, they were... They're everywhere. But go and pick things up. In fact... In Conan, you have to go up to... Oh, no, not even Conan. I was just thinking about No Man's Sky. You have to go up 
feed animals and pick up their dung and it has some kind of a rare commodity or resource in it that you need. Poop quests are like, they're the rite of passage of every MMO. And all the MMOs do it differently. And Star Citizen has their way of doing the poop quest. And first off, you might want to get a different ship than what I used because, let's face it, there is no storage in a Terrapin. But you had to figure out what to do with it, right? What do you do with a Terrapin? You're going to use it as a garbage scow because when you complete the quest, you don't have to bring these boxes anywhere. You can just dump them out into the middle of space if you want to. But they have to have some value somewhere, right? But in their infinite wisdom, CIG gave you no ability to store a single box in the Terrapin. So what does that mean? Well, I'll wait till the end. So why am I so excited about tonight? I mean, it's just a poop quest. Well, it's not. This is what Chris Roberts was talking about in Star Citizen, the emergent gameplay, the I don't know what I'm going to do today, so let's go and create something. We see this every week on ATV when they do that, that backer spotlight or the community spotlight where they show huge get-togethers, races, um, conventions in space. They show movies that people do, right? The machinima movies that they do in Star Citizen. Emergent gameplay is going to be one of the biggest elements of gameplay in this game. And creating your own profession might be one of those things that you really get into. And me just saying, you know, let me make a joke video, which is turning out into a conversation with y'all, is, is kind of emergent gameplay. Because I did this as a joke. I took my ship out. Not a joke to even show you guys tonight. I was just like, I have nothing to do tonight. I'm just going to come out and use my Terrapin to do a poop quest. I've never done the poop quest in the game. Let me go see what it's like. And it actually worked pretty well, except for CIG not allowing you to sell cargo that you put on this ship because it lists the cargo storage as zero. So I am excited because there's a lot of professions that are going to be in the game. Mining right now, I find to be the most fleshed out profession. You can say, no, 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 it's going to be cargo, but cargo has a long way to go to be fleshed out. There has to be computers that you have on board your, on board your ship or in the place of purchase or in your Moby glass that actually tracks the buying and selling prices of all the different places that you go to. Yes, you could make a spreadsheet and go everywhere, but it should be in the game. There's also the loading and the unloading of ships. There's also interstellar cargo transport. There's also loading and unloading the hull E, the hull D, the hull C, with the hull A's. So there's a lot of things that have to go on for cargo salvaging we have a salvage ship in the game we can't salvage another ship that really doesn't have a purpose except for being tremendously big and tremendously awesome and it's going to make people millions eventually because that thing is just gorgeous it's huge and gorgeous right so as you watch me speed up here, speed up the gameplay to 4X so you can see me picking up, yes, trash, but when you look at the logo on these things, it's a biohazard, so you know it's poop. But professions in the game could also be professions that you create. So I want you to think of it this way, right? We know that cargo running is going to be in the game. There's no doubt about it that you're going to be able to run cargo from A to B. One of my best buddies in the game, Marcus, he is the head of the organization Colonial Movers, and they will move you anywhere. And their videos are missed. Him and his, him and his brother's videos 
of doing the mover, you know, colonial movers videos. They were just hysterical. But when you think about it, they created the profession before the game was even out. They're going to be movers <laughs> in the game. And I think about different things like, are they going to be shop owners? Can I be a bar owner? Can I be a beauty shop owner? I mean, just the things that you could do in the game. Star Citizen is building a game on, real, on a level of realism that hasn't been seen before. I mean, if you think about the CitizenCon 2948 demo and where it started, waking up, having breakfast, having a cup of coffee, getting dressed, walking out of your habitat, going down the stairs, going through the common area, walking outside, going into what looked like a mini mall area, going downstairs into what looked like an underground, and getting on the train and riding to either work or to the place of where you're going to shop, or where your mission is, or to the spaceport. All those things are modeled in the game with the utmost realism. As the character in the demo, picked up his glass. We saw the coffee move, right? We saw it move. It kind of didn't follow physics too well, but we saw the coffee move, and we saw it again when he got a drink at the bar. This is an unparalleled level of realism, unmatched level of realism so far in a game. So I think of all these things, and I'm like, so why can't I turn my ship into a garbage scow if I want to? Why is this so weird to do? Why can't I just take my tarpon and turn it into a garbage truck? I mean, it's built like a garbage truck. It is built like the proverbial brick poop house. So picking up poop is definitely something this ship should be able to do. There are some other professions that I think of later on that I know are going to be needed, right? So we have ATC. It's AI driven, which I think it would need to be because what if you're just a very bad ATC pe person and you start crashing ships all over the place? We know somebody would do that. We just know somebody would troll everybody one night and do that. But still, that's a profession that could have been in the game. Think about what professions you think should be in the game, but not ones that CIG could create. Ones that you could create by what's already there. And I'm giving you a perfect example here of turning a ship that I absolutely adore. I know it's a terrapin. I know it looks like a turtle. I know it has funny thrusters. I know all that. I'm we all love different things about this game. And the most important thing to me is the immersion that they're building into it and how you can just do anything, almost anything right now, but anything that you want to. And I'm thinking that that's what actually sets this game apart. That's what makes this game special. What makes this game the one, the one that I've been waiting for for so long. It's not about picking, picking up poop. Picking up poop, like I said, it's a rite of passage in every MMO. And it's kind of a humorous thing that I'm sure the developers put into the game because, you know, that gives us that familiarity that we have with other games that we've played in the past. But no game has done it to the detail that we have here. The detail of having to leave my habitat area, walk out to my ship, take it off, pick up the mission, fly to three different locations on two different planets, land my ship at those three different places, get out of my ship, and make multiple trips back and forth to pick up the poop, put it into my ship, and then finally get in my ship and go back home. I mean, the level of detail, the level of realism in something so insignificant is so important. It's what makes 
Star Citizen the best damn space simulator ever. And I know there's a lot of humor, some of it bad, some of it smelly, here in this video. But let's face it. We don't have a lot of the game to play, and the elements that we do have to play are pretty awesome. But sometimes they could become a little monotonous. And some days you just want to sit back, look at a ship that has no purpose, and say, you know, that ship is full of shit. <laughs> and actually go and complete that thought for real. Well, folks, if you like this video, please click the thumbs up button below. If you do subscribe, remember to click that bell-shaped icon to get notified of all my videos in the future. And I thank you so much for playing into my poor humor tonight and letting me talk about two things. One, what do you do with the ships that you don't really have a use for now? And two, I love the game. I really do. And I know that it's coming along and I know that it's past some of the hiccups that it was having. Thank you very much for watching, listening, continue to subscribe, and all that you do for me, everyone. And with that said, y'all be safe out there, and I'll talk to you soon.